Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hull City in Football Manager 2018. And uh, this episode takes place ASAP after last game, that annoying loss uh, versus Everton. So you haven't missed a single game. And today we have a huge game coming up and it's special for a bunch of dif different reasons. First off, we are playing Man City. And if you take a look at the league table, they are topping the, the table. So it's us versus the top dog. So it's huge just because that, because we are off uh, against uh, maybe the strongest team in Lee. And uh, yeah, can't get much bigger than that, can it? And uh, that's a very, very good cause. Another good cause to why this is very, very interesting or very, very important is uh, just behind us, one point behind us, we have West Ham. And while we're playing City, a really, really tough opponent, they are playing against Stoke. So while we are playing against the team that are topping the league table, they are playing like one of the weakest teams that are just uh, a few points above relegation spots. They're going to have a much, much easier opponent. So they will probably take three points. That puts a lot of pressure on us because that means if they take three points, our only chance on the on uh, grabbing hold this Champions League spot is to beat City and yeah that won't be easy that won't be easy at all and um, of course there are other teams hunting behind so whenever we don't take three points it's going to be a lot of teams trying to catch up with us and another reason that this is a very special game is of course our history with City uh, earlier this season they let's see where is it i'm kind of blind yeah we lost kind of big here with two goals versus four and if you remember from this game uh it was a bit special let's see call load yeah so the, th the special thing with this game is we took the lead so we were actually leading versus city away at the city of manchester stadium and then they equalized and then they actually took the lead no they took the lead and then we bounced well goal bounce back um i'm messing this up okay so we took the lead and then they scored a lot of goals but one of those goals come from uh, from an own goal and uh yeah look look at these so many goals in in the 30th minutes so uh, a crazy game with four goals during uh, during a few minutes um yeah very frustrating but the big thing with City is, isn't this season. It's, of course, the last game we played last season. And that was huge. Because we were playing them at home. The last game of the season. And we needed to... Our only chance... Our only chance to get a spot in Europe was if we managed to beat them. And then David Costas, three minutes into extra time, managed to score the winner. It was huge. It was a crazy game. I didn't expect us at all to win. But that Costas goal... Uh, during extra time meant we are playing in, in Europe this season. So yeah, we have, we have some uh, special history here with uh, with City and uh, hopefully we can do as well as we did uh, during uh, during uh, the last game uh, of uh, last season, not the, the way we did uh, during the last game this season because yeah, three points here would be brilliant, but you just can't expect it. Like it would be great if it happened, but, but I, I wouldn't like dare to bet my money on it so this is the city team we're up against with uh, Gabriel Jesus and Icardi up and they actually changed formation this is not the way they uh, played when we played against them uh, both last game or, or and last season because uh, then they were playing with one striker and, and two uh, inside forwards but yeah they have uh, Delali for this season signed him from Tottenham he, he wanted to lead the club because they missed out in Europe and a great signing for them, of, of course. They also signed Julian Brandt. I believe they did it uh, this season. So, yeah, a lot of quality players. I mean, you know when you have a good team, when you have players like uh, Sane and uh, and Gundogan uh, on the bench, Rafinha, Lucas Silva, they, they have so many world-class players, it's not even funny. Um, but we have some decent youngsters, don't we? Um, we, we can just hope, but we're definitely going to talk about the last game uh, so let's talk about that. We want them to uh, avenge um, what happened uh, last time. Quite a few of them actually agree. It's beautiful. And, uh, but yeah, 
they they are like there's no coincidence that they are topping the table. They have world class players in in every position. Um, but I mean, we we managed to beat them once last season, so maybe yes, maybe it's never. Ne don't stop believing. You can always dream. So let's see what happens here. Oh my God, they've already got all the chances. So we are not creating anything. They, uh, they picked up a yellow card at least. It's actually not much going on. Still not a highlight. And of course, as I say that, City gets a highlight. Is Walker going for Raheem Sterling. Delali sets up Icardi. And um, I would probably say that it was more that he hit uh, Joe Hart and that Joe Hart did a fancy save. But we still have the corners. It's not over yet. It's clear. Now, Bree picks it up. Maybe we can turn it around the counter attack. Here is a Chamberlain. Chamberlain? Beautiful challenge, but a really, really crappy pass. He could actually have gone a little bit further himself and get himself in a really good situation. But uh, look at his chances. We still haven't had a single shot. This is worrisome. I definitely going to change things around during half time if nothing happens. But here is a corner for City. It's cleared. Now, this looks like a replay from last highlight. This is really like a replay, but this time Ox didn't win the challenge. But Gnabry picks it up. A lot of players joining here, but. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he really should try to, to pass there. I feel like they were very optimistic to take. Yeah, I, I'm not really pleased. Uh, it was very good, the thing he went until he got to the box. But when he reached the box, he would probably be better if he would try to, to reach somebody else. So uh, at least I got a few um, shots off here. But uh, we are going to change things around during, during half time because uh, we are clearly not dominating this game. A draw with the City is not bad. It's definitely not bad. But I'm going to tell them I'm not pleased. Uh, look at these. How can you be demotivated? Do you think I'm going to be pleased with your 6.5 rating like uh, Lapadula? Come on, mate. Come on. But what do you expect? So uh, let's uh, let's go like this. And uh, we could have you as a box-to-box, -box maybe. Yep. And instead of trying to retain possession, let's also play a little bit more direct passes. See, yeah, uh, see how that works. Because all our highlights, our two highlights, both came from more direct passes. So, so maybe that's the way we should be rolling in in this game. And yeah, I was like sort of thinking, is actually something going to happen here? But no, it was just an intra highlight. Let's see the new formation. To keep track of what goes on there, yeah, we got a shot there, so maybe the new formation is working. Uh, well, I think it's too too early to, to celebrate here. There's nothing is going on right now. Nothing at all. Oh my god, Afonso Sosa is injured. That's very unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate. Um, I'm kind of actually considering doing this. I think I'm going to go with two strikers. Could be a bit of a risky move uh, against a team like City, but why not? We are we are uh, we are here to to win it. Yeah, let, let, let's try this. See how it uh, how it looks. And here is Paslak with a corner into the box for Costas. We all remember how Costas scored that winner uh, during the last game of uh, uh, of the last season against them. So Costas know how to score against City. But what are you up to here, Pharrell? What are you doing? Please don't lose it now, because there are a lot of City players that could turn around the counter-attack. And Bree for Maya sets up Lapadula, and La oh my god! Oh my god, hit the woodwork, that was so close! That was inches from a goal, and we need that goal desperately. Instead, it's City here, with a free kick, Sane into the box, and... Yeah. Damn it! Lapadula hits the woodwork, and a up after that, this happens. So it goes from almost dreamland to the nightmare. Yeah, very frustrating. Not what we wanted at all. Uh, so let's pause it here. Let's go uh, take a look at the players. We know that some of the guys have crap day. Oh my God, past like 6.3. Really mate, Lapadula always also garbage, but kind of can't replace him. Think, hmm, what do you want to do here? Chamberlain actually looks nervous. I, I kind of like you want to go with him just because he looks nervous and uh, you haven't um, done anything special this game. I mean, we we have we are creating more chances than them now, but still nothing. 
Oh my god, 6.4 Lapadula. But we can't, we, we don't have any options. Our only option to sub him is to bring in another midfielder and that won't help us uh, attacking. So what what could we do? I think we should go, maybe with Gnabry then. Should we? Yeah, I think we should. No, 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 not him. We're gonna go with uh, Farrell. Looks frustrated. He's pretty tired. He's not playing great. Let's bring in uh, Branninger instead. And we are also, as soon as the game allows us, let's go uh, overloading. Let's have a team talk. We want him to push forward. Oh, he's just ticking away. And a city with a corner. This is not what we wanted. Not at all. It's cleared, but it can't come back quickly. Maybe not. Yeah, I think it's Walker. Silva, come on, come on, win it, beautiful! And here is Keane, can we start a counter-attack? Here's Lapadula, Lapadula has been complete garbage today, but we can find Keane, oh my god! Nope, he, he can't, he just continues to be in complete garbage today. That, that's how we roll, but it's going to be something happening ASAP from the kickoff. Maybe we can create something here instead, Bowen, Maya. Branaga, Branaga with a long, long cross for Lapadula, but it's intercepted. And f yeah, things is going in the wrong direction, because it is in city possession. And look at my central defenders now. They always screw this one up in this situation. Oh, beautiful. Be that was a fantastic interception by Branaga. That was world class. Fantastic. And it's Gnabry. Gnabry. And he loses it. Branaga picks it up. That was to nobody. But actually, Keen won it. Gnabry. Look into boxes. Bowen. Oh my god. It was so close. Great save by the city goalkeeper. And that could have been a loss. So it's five minutes of extra time. So maybe. Just maybe there will be a time for another highlight, but uh, I'm not sure. Suma, Maya, Maya with a really crappy pass. Come on, guys. Something, something. Paslak with a throw in. Going for Lapadula. Lapadula back to Paslak. Branaga. Branaga with a really weak pass. Is the card probably going to run straight through? Maybe not. Bowen. Gnabry. Lapri, Lapadula, Lapadula, Lapadula! <laughs> oh my god! Why? 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 Lapadula has been a goal scoring machine. But today, he's just garbage and he's probably gonna score here. Well, that was prob that was kind of Lapadula class uh, in this game with that crappy finisher. But oh my god, Lapadula. I was certain we're gonna see a goal, but instead, you made me cry. Can we get the highlight when Keane actually gets to finish instead of Lapadula? Here is Keane, the goals for Lapadula, what uh, disaster will Lapadula made today? Well, he gives it away. And instead, probably City going to score. Because of Lapadula gave it away, look at this, Icardi. Well, luckily for us, we have Joe Hart and that was a weak, weak finisher. Another Lapadula class finisher for, for City. And oh my god, this means probably game over for us because the clock is ticking away. It's 20 seconds left of extra time. Gonna bring interception. Come on, quickly, guys. We have 50, sec 50 seconds. We can't afford to stand there shilling. Bump it up, bump it up, bump it up. And uh, yeah, we are gonna get the full time whistle here because, yeah. I mean, first off. Looking at the statistics here, we actually played pretty well, considering we played against City. Look at that team that are topping the table, and we were creating more chances to them. Uh, yes, they had more on target, they had one more clear-cut chance, but look at these statistics. They are telling one thing, and what they are telling is we are getting closer and closer to the top. We are not there yet this season, but we have a lot of young players that keeps on improving, and this shows that we are not far away. Give it another season uh, of a development and uh, City could be in some trouble. Of course, when we created so many chances and so many good ones, it's very frustrating to, to, to not have been able to actually score. And we hit the woodwork and the Lapadula made some huge mistakes. But, uh, I mean, we are getting closer and closer. I think next season or two seasons at the most, if our youngsters keeps on developing, City would be in some serious trouble in in uh, a game like this. Uh, some of the guys I kind of would like to talk to, especially you, Mr. Lapadula, I want to tell you that I am disappointed with you. Because uh, you should 
they able to do it better. And he agreed. He looks uh, actually inspired. So, yeah, I think that we, we need to expect more from Lapadula. He is the man, the myth, the, yeah, the top goal scorer of the league. So we really expected more from him. So let's take a look at, uh, at the league table once more. We are still in the Champions League spot, but we know West Ham, we played early kickoff. Let's... Uh, ah, yeah, let, let's go move forward uh, one day. Oh, yeah, it's nasty. Source is going to be out for four weeks, not what we wanted. Uh, not what we wanted at all, but yeah, let's move forward so you can take a look at how West Ham will do. But they will most likely win and overtake us. Just waiting here for football. Uh, yeah, day one. Which means we are no longer in dreamland. We have left the Champions League spots and falling down to the Euro League. But still, uh, even though we lost, I can see some positives because we were creating a lot of chances versus uh, a club like City. But uh, yeah, enough talking. That's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.